Welcome back to a brand new episode for the review for Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Uh, this is episode four titled Memento Mori. How many shows have probably used that title at this point? I feel like everybody has used that title. <laughs> um, but we're back with a brand new episode as we see. And um, boy, we're in for a, a new one. And I am pulling up uh, your title. <laughs> like I said, uh, Memento Mori. Uh, so this episode, Pike must find unconventional Starfleet methods to deal with a malevolent force that attacks the Enterprise, which is our tagline, is our summary for the episode uh, this week. Um, basically, uh, you know, just Enterprise does what the Enterprise does, and they uh, they decided to get the distress signal um, from a planet uh, and find out what's going on. They need help. They uh, beam down and see that everybody um at this facility of this planet has been massacred and uh these people have evacuated uh and of course uh <laughs> they get a uh, strange signal and a beam immediately back on board from a uh star a ship that is in space that has been trapped in space um and they see that there are survivors on board and they say that they cannot transport them to the ship because there is radiation or whatever the core is that's uh, preventing them from transporting to the enterprise um they of course find out that it's quickly a trap and <laughs> uh we get introduced uh to well, at least new to me um we found out about this uh this new species of alien called the gorn um who, while they're transporting these people, they're still tethered to the other ship, uh, come across the Enterprise and attack it while they're still tethered so they cannot raise shields to the ship while they're a a attached to the, to the other ship, of course, which is genius. <laughs> so, of course, they get attacked. Uh, a bunch of people die, including the little girl that... Uh, what we, what's her name? Um, Leon, Leon um, is talking to. She wants to be getting killed in the process of the explosion sad really sad <laughs> like really sad um that you know she she already knows the tactics of the gorn and, and what they're capable of um and what they've done before because she's come across this in the past um one of those you know you really see you rarely see the i don't say you rarely see the, the, the enterprise get attacked but uh it happens quite frequently man they stay letting people on board that don't need to be on there or they wind up getting themselves involved in something that normally they shouldn't even be peeking their heads into um and we spent a lot of this this time in the episode too where like uh the the, the episode is pretty dark like you know lights out powers out they can't replicate anything uh sick bay's useless uh they gotta go back to doing stuff by hand which you know the future probably makes you lazy because now, now you know now that you can't replicate it do everything automatically you know you gotta go ahead and, and, and stitch everybody um we also get uh, Yohora and Hemmer, who are stuck in the cargo bay um, with a, of course, a reactive core that's about to blow. And they need to repair or everybody's dead. Because, <laughs> um, you, know, you know, wouldn't be Star Trek if the core doesn't blow at least once per episode, right? Uh, so we get Yohora and Hemmer working together to fix this issue because she's like, I guess she's training under him, trying to figure out what the heck she wants to do other than linguistics even though she, we know in the future she's like you know ridiculously good at it um and then of course like i said we're still trying to figure out this this mystery of the going who who are they um and and what they've uh what we've come across before um through leon who like i said she had previous encounters with him as a child and she is completely terrified but knows how to handle him um episode's pretty straightforward uh we don't really get a lot of just kind of like we're just stuck on the ship the entire time so like you know we're, we're trying to figure out um you know how, how to beat them what to do uh so they wind up leading them into a field which the gravitational pull is so heavy that just destroying the ship you know courtesy of, uh courtesy of pike and his uh his genius uh, um so they wind up trying to navigate them there's, there's really no way for them to fight back because they have no no missiles, no phasers, no nothing to be able to defend themselves. Their only option now was to pretty much run away or, you know, keep themselves hidden, like 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 they said they the plan throughout the episode. Um, they, you know, 
pretty much in the process of figuring out Leon and Spock take a ship out to figure out um, figure out if they can kind of figure out what's going on out there. Um, he mind melds with Leon um, to access her memory to see if it's something that she remembers that can help them during this crisis. Um, and in the process, he winds up opening her mind to her. She opens his mind to him. She sees that he had a sister. He clearly didn't want to share that information with her. Um, and then they just continue that rather quickly. Um, Pike uh, then comes without the idea to kind of like faint their death or faint that the ship is being blown up by releasing stuff in the cargo bay and causing the explosion, which thinks the, the Gorn thinks that they're they're gone. Um, and then of course that is how the episode ends for this particular episode. Um, really, uh, I wish that was a little bit more. I wish they would have actually shown the Gorn in this episode, which is probably my biggest pet peeve. Uh, throughout this entire thing because there's a lot of talk of it we see the ships and of course visually everything looks good but i just really wish that they would have gotten a more detail um, and they leave this kind of on a cliffhanger where we're going to probably get more of this this gorn species um who for whatever reason just decide to hunt and and take down starfleet which is probably a big no-no um so we're probably gonna get more of this just because of how they how they left things with kind of like faking their their deaths um and like i said like pike says then this like they won't be caught off guard again now that they know how they operate um like i said other than that it just was it, it wasn't a boring episode but it just wasn't that exciting if i had to say like it just mainly because you know you're really just on the ship and you really don't see who your enemy is this is a a classic star trek survival episode you know beat the clock figure out what's going on um at the same time you get to really see you know how how starfleet or the people of the enterprise get down while under pressure which i, I really appreciate um you see pike do his thing you see you see spock respond of course you know logically as usual try to come up with every plan um we really start to see leon like really start to break and get nervous uh number one una who's taken out completely she she got injured in the blast so she she's got like metal shrapnel whatever inside of her right now that they're trying to surgically remove um, so they take out a lot of the Enterprise, <laughs> like, like I guess that was the plan to kind of weaken them um, so that they couldn't get away and that they would not be able to fight back. Um, but at the end of the day, Enterprise wins. Uh, they wind up getting away. They defeat two, three ships. And, you know, this is our episode. So, like I said, I mean, this is clearly going to be a setup probably for a future episode with the Gorn. Maybe we actually get to see them. Um, but other than that, if I had to rate this week's episode out of a five... It's probably going to be a 2.53 for me just because like i just don't really feel like enough happened this episode it's still pretty good i enjoyed it um but you know maybe next time show the villain but i get it as a setup for for a future encounter um like i said i mean this was uh episode four of star trek strange new world memento mori uh let me know what you thought about tonight's episode you know probably thought you rated it higher than i did uh like i said it, it wasn't bad i just i just wish i could have got a little bit more um and a little bit more detail about what the alien species was and you know exactly what they were because even going into leon's memories we still didn't get anything i feel like we kept getting the same image on repeat over and over um but like i said uh pretty pretty decent episode not the best um but uh check it out paramount plus episode four memento mori star trek trains new worlds please check this out uh, on that note this has been Terrell with another review for star trek and i will catch you guys for the next one See?